it's going to be hot in Norway this year, at least in regards to plug-in electric car sales with the new Nissan LEAF now entering the delivery stage. Sales of the new LEAF just started in Norway and already in the first half of February, 264 registrations appear. At such a pace, the LEAF should be on track for more than 500 for the month, which would mark one of its best months ever in Norway. The record for monthly sales for the LEAF in Norway stands at 716 units a few years ago. New records to be posted by the 2018 LEAF in several countries, but just in Norway alone there are more than 4,000 people waiting for delivery of their new LEAFs. These are exciting times for LEAF fans and soon we'll see what level of impact the new LEAF has on the global plug-in market. On Thursday, Subaru announced the specifications of its upcoming SUV, the Ascent. Pricing, options, and capabilities are detailed, the most extreme of which is the Ascent's towing capacity of 5,000 pounds, greater than that of any other Subaru ever made. The Ascent in its thriftiest form has an MSRP of $31,995 and its range topping Ascent Touring Package comes in at $44,695. All Ascents share the same powertrain. A new direct injection 2.4-liter flat 4 with 10.61 compression and variable valve timing, boosted by an intercooled twin scroll turbo. Its 260 horsepower and 277 pound-feet of torque are forwarded through a CVT to all wheels via torque vectoring all-wheel drive. The stout CVT keeps the engine at peak torque throughout acceleration, which is useful for the Ascent's towing capabilities. Brake vectoring and yaw sensors are also included to keep the vehicle and its trailer under control. Independent suspension at all four corners and 8.7 inches of ground clearance keep the ascent competitive on tumultuous terrain too. Most modern safety amenities and conveniences are included. Lane keeping assists, blind spot monitors, active cruise control, and automatic braking in reverse to prevent parking lot mishaps are present, including others. A full suite of airbags can protect your 7 to 8 occupants, depending on interior seating specifications. Splurging on the Touring Trim package adds technology like ventilated front seats, wipers on water watch, a 120-volt outlet, 8 USB outlets, a premium infotainment and sound system, and moonroof. Safety upgrades are afoot too, with a smart rear-view mirror and a 180-degree camera for frontal visibility, presumably for peeking around corners for tight rights on red. The wheelbase of almost 113 inches puts it close to that of the Chevrolet Tahoe's 116 inches with an equal seat count. The Ascent Touring undercuts the Tahoe LS MSRP by $2,805, as it should considering the, marginally, inferior towing rating. Fuel economy on the Ascent beats that of the Tahoe LS, which is estimated at 16 mpg in the city and 23 mpg on the highway, while Subaru states the Ascent can achieve 21 mpg in the city and 27 on the highway respectively. Those interested solely in a 5.3-liter V8 soundtrack will have their minds made up already as will Subaru-hungry markets like Colorado and Vermont. Different strokes, as they say. The first Consumer Reports review of a Tesla Model 3 found the all-electric sedan for the middle class has great handling, but that the ride quality is very poor. By putting a $1,000 deposit down in April 1, 2016, Consumer Reports was able to receive one of the first Tesla Model 3 commercial deliveries in mid-February 2018. Only deluxe vehicles with $23,000 in options were available, but Consumer Reports was able to test the vehicle to determine the performance of a high-volume $35,000 standard unit. 
Consumer Reports' testers reported they were impressed by our car's glue to the road handling, with steering that is quick and precise, much like a well-tuned sports car. But regarding ride quality, Consumer Reports found that the car is overly stiff, struggling to absorb bumps with the dignity expected from a luxury car. There's also considerable wind noise at highway speeds. The main reason Tesla has been able to lose money for 15 years and not go bankrupt is receipt of $1.6 billion in U.S. federal and state electric vehicle tax credits on the sale of 160,000 luxury cars it produced and sold in the U.S. at a $90,000 average price. But according to the Tesla Owners Forum, the $7,500 federal credit will fall to $3,750 by June 30, 2018. $1,750 by December 31, 2018. And $0.00 by June 30, 2019. Tesla just reported that the company lost $665 million in the last three months of 2017, and about $1.9 billion for the year. About 80% of those losses were due to the ramp-up of the Model 3, which is a year behind schedule. More concerning, Tesla is predicted to lose $855 million in the first three months of 2018, and over $2 billion for the year. Tesla is financially betting the viability of the company on the ability to quickly produce and sell at least 125,000 Model 3 as all-electric mid-sized luxury cars per year at an unsubsidized starting price of $35,000. Tesla does not offer monthly sales figures, but the Incidives.com market intelligence estimates that Tesla last month sold 2,485 Model 3 units. 1,125 Model S sedans and 875 Model X SUVs. But with 1,882,848 U.S. personal vehicle sales in February, Tesla held a 0.2% market share with just 4,482 units. Several years ago, Tesla was the only electric vehicle on U.S. roads. But there are now 38 models to choose from and most car manufacturers plan to produce several electric vehicle models by 2019. Tesla's Model S lost its position as the top-selling electric vehicle in its California home market to General Motors Chevrolet Bolt. According to the California New Car Dealers Association's Auto Outlook, GM sold or leased 13,487 Bolts versus 11,813 Tesla Model S sedans. The San Francisco Chronicle blamed the loss of leadership on the fact that Tesla's Model S starts at $74,500, over twice Bolt's $36,620 starting price. One of the things that make EVs extra special is their ability to run quietly. Since there is no need for combustion, pure electricity can ensure that no noise gets spilled when the EV is being driven. The only problem with this is that the lack of noise is being described as a road hazard by the U.S. Department of Transportation. Without the slightest of noise, those that are in near vicinity with an EV will not be aware of the car's presence and this can increase the risk of a crash. There have been several cases of pedestrians getting hit by EVs in parking areas and the blame goes to the soundless cars that has led the victims into assuming that their vehicle is not on the move. As such, it is now an order by the governing body for EVs to feature a noise-developing device that will get activated when the car is operating at extreme low speeds. We are interested what Chevrolet Bolt and Nissan Leaf have got in mind as both car makers have got a lot of success with loud cars in the past. Will the new ruling lead the Leaf and the Bolt into creating a thunderous roar? The biggest Subaru ever built is, thankfully, not so big that its gravity will rip every penny from your wallet. 
Subaru announced today that the 2019 Ascent SUV will start at $31,995, not including $975 for destination and delivery. While there are multiple trims available, all Ascents will come with the same engine, a 2.4-liter turbocharged flat 4 that produces 260 horsepower and 277 pound-feet of torque, made it to a CVT standard all-wheel drive. Subaru's first three-row SUV since the Tribeca includes a good deal of standard equipment. The base Ascent comes with three-zone automatic climate control, 18-inch wheels, 19 Cuban pesos holders and 4 USB ports. The standard 6.5-inch infotainment system includes Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. EyeSight, Subaru's suite of active and passive safety systems, is also standard across the Ascent range. Move up to the $34,195 Ascent Premium, and the automaker adds blind spot monitoring, a power driver's seat, a leather-wrapped steering wheel, rear seat climate controls, heated front seats and a larger, 8-inch infotainment system with a 4G LTE Wi-Fi hotspot. You can also swap out the second row bench seat for a pair of captain's chairs. Navigation, keyless access, reverse automatic braking and a panoramic roof are available as options. The Ascent Limited starts at $38,995. In addition to everything the premium packs, the limited tax on leather seats, steering responsive LED headlights, LED fog lights, second row retractable sunshades, keyless access and two extra USB ports. One options package is available, and it includes premium audio, navigation and a panoramic moonroof. At the top of the list is a $44,695 Ascent Touring. Only available in 7-passenger form, the Touring is fully loaded with all the options packages included on other trims. It also adds ventilated front seats, a 120-volt power outlet, another pair of USB ports, rain-sensing wipers and a 180-degree forward-facing camera. The interior is also even fancier thanks to brown leather seats and a heated steering wheel. Available this summer, the 2019 Subaru Ascent is built right here in the good old US of A, Lafayette, Indiana, to be specific. With smaller wheels, it'll achieve 21 mpg city and 27 mpg highway, but moving up to the 20 inches on the fancier trims drops fuel economy by 1 mpg each.